Does art amaze you? Is it something that you wouldn't mind looking at all day? If your answer is yes, then you'll find today's video very interesting, as it narrows down the 10 of the world's most expensive artwork. The brilliance of art, in general, is the fact that it encompasses such a broad and diverse array of creations. Everyone has a favorite artist or artistic period that they believe is superior to all others. People are so devoted to acquiring art that it's no surprise that original pieces by some of the world's most recognizable masters have fetched exorbitant amounts of money at an auction. Though there are paintings such as Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa that will almost certainly never be sold, many high-profile works of art have changed hands in the auction room for more money than you can fathom over the years. Now, without further ado, let's start with our list that includes 10 of the world's most expensive artwork sold at an auction and made it to the Art History Hall of Fame. Number 10, we have Masterpiece by Roy Lichtenstein, which sold for $165 million. Roy Lichtenstein created Masterpiece in 1962. The picture, Lichtenstein's distinctive bent dots, and a speaking balloon are recognized for their bizarre narrative content, which correctly foreshadowed the artist's ascent to stardom. For years, the masterwork sat over the mantle of American philanthropist Agnes Gunn's New York City apartment. Still, in January 2017, she took the incredible altruistic decision to sell the artwork and give the money to create Art for Justice, a criminal justice reform fund. The sale was finalized confidentially, and the masterpiece was purchased for $165 million by an American hedge fund manager named Stephen Cohen. Number 9 is the creation of Jackson Pollock that was sold for $166.3 million, called Number 5, 1948, an actual work of abstract expressionist genius by the form master himself. Pollock's number 5 oil painting was owned by American business billionaire David Geffen until 2006. It was sold privately, which sparked great speculation among art collectors. Though the identity of the painting's new owner is not public knowledge, many people assume it is Mexican financier David Martinez, who appears to have spent $136 million for the privilege. Geffen's motivation for selling the masterpiece was to obtain funds for his effort to purchase the Los Angeles Times No. 8 New Couch by Amadeo Modigliani, which costs $172 million. No. 8 is the painting by Italian artist Amadeo Modigliani, known as New Couch, worth $172.2 million. This oil canvas was created in 1917 and was one of the most commonly displayed and replicated paintings. The picture, now in a private collection, was auctioned off at Christie's New York in November 2015 and was purchased by Chinese businessman Lu Lucan. The popularity and significance of this painting can be observed in the lot notes for Christie's sale which claims that Medigliani's nude group resulted in a reaffirming and reinvigorating of the nude figure as a presence in modern art, which deserves great commendation. Number 7. We have an artwork by the one and only Pablo Picasso called Le Femmes d'Alger, version O. It is worth $181 million. Picasso's version O of Le Femmes d'Alger, painted in 1955, is the most famous of this particular series in 1997. It was bought for an undisclosed sum by British art dealer Libby Howie on behalf of an anonymous Saudi Arabian collector in London. When Verse O arrived at Christie's New York for the second time in May 2015, it was expected to set a new world record. That expectation was met when Qatari Prime Minister Hamad bin Jassim bin Jaber Al Thani paid $181.2 million for ownership, the highest price ever paid at an auction for an artwork. Number 6 is the pendant portraits of Merton Skolmans and Objen Kopit by Rembrandt, which costs $182 million. This is for a pair of paintings by Dutch painter Rembrandt. Actually, his 1634 pendant portraits of Martin Suleiman and Kwapi and this set of full-length bridal portraits were painted independently but preserved together ever since their completion and sold in a private sale by Eric de Rothschild in September 2015. 
The artworks were purchased for $182 million in an extraordinary collaborative venture between the Louvre in Paris and the Rijks Museum in Amsterdam. The two institutions are testing a shared ownership arrangement in which the artworks will be presented both regularly and on art tours. Number 5. We have the number 6, Violet, Green, and Red by Mark Rothko. It has a price tag of $188 million and is a 1951 oil work by Russian-American abstract expressionist Mark Rothko. The painting is regarded as a classic example of that face in Rothko's career. With broad swaths of color, hazy hues, and faded separating lines, and it was sold in another private sale in August of 2014. The painting was purchased by Russian tycoon Dmitry Rebel Alev for 140 million euros, equal to a whopping 188 million dollars. Number 4 is number 17A, an artwork by Jackson Pollock, worth 202 million dollars. With this 1948 masterpiece number 17A, we may say hello to our friend Jackson Pollock. Pollock is the only artist among his contemporaries to have two pieces in the top 10 most expensive auctions. If you've never heard of Jackson Pollock, we promise you've seen photographs of this classic artwork before, and you may have heard of him being referred to as Jack the Dripper for his distinctive style. This picture was held by David Geffen for many years, the same individual that acquired Pollock's number 5 in 1948 and 2015. However, number 17A was privately sold by the David Geffen Foundation to an American hedge fund manager, Kenneth C. Griffin, for an eye-watering $202 million. Keep an eye out for Mr. Griffin's name, since he may appear later in this list. Number 3 is Nefea Fa Ipo Ipo. Translation, When Will You Marry? An artwork by Paul Gogwin, worth $212 million. Number three on this ever-expanding list is Paul Gogwin's 1892 artwork, A Gogin. Gogwin's mastery of the French post-impressionist movement made his very best works incredibly precious, which came to fruition. When the Fea Fa Ipo Ipo was privately sold in February 2015 on behalf of the family of Swiss businessman Rudolf Eiling, the lucky owner of this masterpiece was Shika Alma Asabint Hamad Al Thani, a member of Qatari royalty and a well-known art collector who paid $212 million to call the painting her own. Number 2 is a masterpiece by Paul Cezanne called The Card Players, worth $266 million. This masterwork from 1893 was completed near the end of the artist's career. The card players are a collection of similar oil paintings that differ in size, context, and several visible players. The most prolific of which was purchased in 2011 by the Qatari royal family for $266 million. This sale was organized by Greek shipping magnate George M. B. Rico, who had been the painting's previous owner. The Card Players series, which includes many of the original works, has been presented in museum tours worldwide on numerous occasions. However, this privately held piece is always represented by a replacement print. Now, for the most awaited part of this video, the number one most expensive painting in the world goes to Willem de Kooning's Interchange, worth $303 million. The 1955 oil painting by Dutch American Masters is a defining work in abstract expressionism and was sold in September 2015 by the David Geffen Foundation for a whopping $303 million to, you guessed it, Mr. Kenneth C. Griffin. Griffin is now the proud owner of not one, but two of the most expensive paintings globally, an incredible claim to fame that he is pleased to share with the rest of the world. Since the record-breaking sale, Griffin has arranged for the paintings to be loaned to the Art Institute of Chicago. And that puts an end to today's video. Do you agree with the list? Share your thoughts with us through commenting below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in our next video.